think I think we're dealing with um a very prophetic week. And the reason why I say that is because Mercury, of course, that retrograded at eight degrees. We saw that at the beginning of the year. You know, so like we saw it go direct at eight degrees. So the fact that we've spent a whole so Mercury went retrograde here, right? Monday morning for UTC time. Of course, for me, it was 11 p.m. Pacific Sunday, but we'll just say Monday morning. And then again, I showed you on Deep Astrology, and this is my concern, and I've been actually, it's been taking me days to, to kind of, oh, no, that's that's me showing the ahead, but, um, oh, it was on last, it was on Deep Astrology last week. Yep. So... I thought it was. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. So, January 16th, January 18th, 2023, Mercury went direct at 8:08. You can see that Mercury stationed. So Mercury sat there. So this whole year, we have not seen a planet besides Venus. But remember, that was just during its one transit of a Venus retrograde. This is a two retrograde transit having a station at the same degree. Very rare. I would, I would call this a, a hypergate rarity um, at the highest. And so the fact that the universe is having us look at the same place twice and to stop at the same place, whether it's stopping to retrograde or stopping to come direct, we have to remember it's the, it's, it's the multiple days here of being at the same degree twice over, twice over. When you're dealing with any other retrograde, whether it was Venus going stationed at 12 degrees or retrograde at 28 degrees of Leo, uh, it went there, stationed, and then went backwards. And then when it came back over, like let's say 28 degrees, it just came back over pretty quick. It didn't stay there for days. So, you know, we've got an extra long set of days, which, you know, planets sitting on the same degree for days, you know, that's more of a Saturn thing. That, that sometimes can be a Mars thing. You know, that's not something that the fastest planet, Mercury, does multiple times in a year at the same degree. Multiple times, twice. So, to me, that's a trigger in the system. That's a trigger in the matrix. And... You know, I feel like these this this is kind of like... I just guess I got to be visual with it. it. It's a countdown, you know, it's like the independence Day countdown. So, oh, you gotta be kidding me. We live in a world that they don't want to show anybody. You know, it's the countdown. And that countdown is literally, I think it's weird, it says right there underneath, the laptop that halted an alien invasion. Uh, I would call this the, the three-week countdown. So, you know, we, we have to look at it like, are, are we just kind of, well, you know, if you've ever watched that movie, like, uh, it's no big deal. Like, you know, no, it's a big deal. You need to get going. <laughs> you, you need to get prepared. And um, kind of weird looking at some of these pictures of it. Um, 
9-11, that's what's weird. They show that, and then they show 27-58 here. It's a little weird. Twenty seven is nine, so fifty eight is thirteen or sorry, yeah, thirteen is four, nine, four, eleven. I don't think there's any significance to the date here, but I do think that that's the best way I could describe this beyond rare reoccurrence. It's literally beyond rare. So I think it's really weird that, you know, this movie also has to deal with the satellites, the TV. That's, of course, the big story that's been going on right now with the Netflix mo movie of the Obamas, which I did watch. And now that's kind of making my hair tingle a little bit in the way that I don't like it to. But I do want to show people because I didn't have time on full disclosure. I thought I would save it for my time with you. Um, because a lot of the triggers that I feel are coming and these are not, you know, this, these are things that I was telling you before 2020 about civil war. Um, but I want to show people the trailer of this uh, because I feel it's important with the way you know, the Obama movie is pretty much, is, I don't want to give it away, but that's what it's about. Um, but let's just have a look. Let me make sure my sound's on for this. And I don't know if people have seen this yet. Here we go. I'm guys aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California <laughs> have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? We're moving to D.C. today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. What if? Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning house. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> the Western forces will reach the White House on July 4th. Oh my God. Get in the car! Get in the car! under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America.
And then I actually I I feel like I'm in a hypergate right now, just thinking of the Independence Day movie and the the, the time. But the weirder part is uh, doing the astrology so long ago, and you know, like looking at the Civil War. Um, It, it reminds me of a long time ago, just like this is like April 2012, so it's going to be 14 years ago. With the Jupiter Uranus and the Pluto Uranus square, which we're coming back into, and and, and this article, I was I was get ready for the start of a new world. This one I've never showed people on my shows here. I said, "Get ready for the start of a new world, a new age, and most importantly, a new you." The chasing of empty, as I like to say, is literally coming to an end. There's a deep purpose we all have, and it's more than working 9 to 5 and watching the Super Bowl. These are ways of life you might enjoy, but not the true purpose of why we are here. New ideas, unexpected news, and big changes are lining up. Don't let fear have its grip on your core and focus on the love and beauty that surrounds you. That is the message of the children of love in the 60s sent the world. People will really think it's, people will really think it's the end of the world. When that is just a false expectation appearing real, there will be a point where people will actually believe it could happen. There will be wild weather, war propaganda, and government money problems. If you find yourself stuck in the grip of fear, remember this blog and the square that is happening. The world will not end. Try to remember this if the time comes. It is time to answer the calling of the universe the horns are blaring and it's time for you to listen to your gut. April is the start to what we all have been waiting for. The most important thing to remember is we are all coming into the deepest connection possible with our unique soul and the universe's mysterious powers. I wrote that March 25th, 2012. That's coming up for 14 years ago. Um... Or like this Neptune Pisces, I wrote January 22nd. Of course, I talk about the witch trials. I also talk about Iran. is in the picture. Who really knows? But the next time you see trials or tribulations of a group or people, ask yourself, is this really right? Which, unfortunately, that's what we're seeing right now. Um, due to popular demand, we tend to take sides very easily. Most of the wars we go into, views of spirituality, and in recent decades, the color of your skin are judged and shunned upon. Is it time to reflect on our history and how things went? The synchronicity of Jupiter and Taurus and Neptune and Pisces coming up brings this example to the surface. There are a ton of evidence that supports the country of Iran of being in Aries as well as having Aries rising. I talk about the Panic of 1857 setting off one of the most severe economic crises in U.S. history. Sounds familiar. I have a feeling that the euro will be part of the next five months as well. Maybe a worldwide panic as countries in the euro may succeed. May, may secede. I, I was saying that back in 2012. Uh, the reasons I bring up countries not getting along is because the last time we had these alignments, the, the United States was setting the dominoes up for collapse in the dawn of a civil war. In 1858, when Jupiter moved into Gemini, a man by the name of Abraham Lincoln accepted the Republican Party nomination for a seat in the U.S. Senate delivering his House Divided speech. It would be the year he would enter in the Lincoln-Douglas debates, a seven-debate series debating for control of the Illinois legislature. Uh, that back then I was saying how interesting that Newt Gingrich is challenging Obama in a series of debates that did not happen, but we just saw that with Newsom and... DeSantis. Two years later, as Jupiter moved into Cancer and Leo, he would win the nomination as the President of the United States and the first Republican. A year later, the country would be in civil war. 
But I said, uh, my point is, in the state we are in, the alignment of the astrology over the next couple of years, we need to keep our minds, eyes, and ears open. Look at the parallels of what is happening now. I ran on trial for developing nuclear energy, just pretty much like any other country. This is sparking hate from different parts of the world and causing tension in the Middle East. The financial crisis around the world, the euro is affecting the USA in a dramatic way. Look how the crisis was last time we had this alignment. USA seems like it will sustain, um, that there'll be a boost in the economy back then, but we're not having that. The country divided everything from religion, gay rights, Democrat or Republican, rich or poor. The division is tearing us apart, and if we don't fix this, we're headed down the same road as 1861. My last blog goes into depth about other tra transits that are parallel. The great time of new connections, you know, so. What was this blog? Oh, yeah, the, the 2012, the history of the astrology and the transits coming up. Yeah, I talk about the gold rush, of course. I was doing this when Neptune is now at the final degrees of Aquarius. Post postage stamps were issued for the first time. How ironic they are now going away and the Postal Service is dying. The Mexican-American War formally ends same time as right now, a couple weeks before Neptune enters Pisces. Iraq War ends same time over 150 years later. Zachary Taylor of the Whig Party wins the presidential election, defeating Democrat presidential hopeful Louis Cass. Who knows, maybe a new or independent party will beat Obama. The current presidential President Polk at the time would not run again due to health and making all of his goals happen in his first term. Polk was the first president to have his picture taken, very Pisces. The U.S. Congress passes the, co the Gold Coinage Act, allowing the minting of gold coins. Zachary Taylor refuses to be sworn in office on Sabbath, Sunday. Urban legend holds that David Rice, Atchison president pro Tempore of the United States Senate was president uh, de jour for a single day. Very weird. Edgar Allan Poe is also born during this time, as well as Jesse James. Near the end of Neptune in Pisces transit in 1861, the Civil War would start in America. It feels like the country is headed down this road. We live in a place where we can't decide if gay people should have full rights. Religion is judging people, and both sides of our political, political symptom, symptom, system is on opposite ends. I hope I am wrong. The above transit was on the first and second time Neptune went into Pisces and out of Aquarius in 1847 through 49. This happened three times. We only get this twice, and the second time happens in three weeks from today. This is back in January of 2012. It'll be exactly the same time the Mexican American War ended 161 years in one day. Well, you, you cannot write or make this stuff up. That is what is important. And while the fact that Uranus was in Aries for all these transits uh, explained above, just like it is for us now. This makes more of the same repeat of events to happen in a 2012 fashion. Uh, right here, World War II was started with this alignment. I talk about Uranus. And I said, it looks as if we are down this road. The whole Iran, Israel, Palestine, Saudi Arabia crisis is all about gains like World War II was. I said this January 2012. Iran, Israel, Palestine, Saudi Arabia. I've never I haven't reread this blog since I wrote it, straight up. It was like a time capsule. Let us not forget China and Russia. I can't even make that shit up. Crazy because they are threatening us with oil, higher oil prices. Pisces rules fuel and we'll blame it all on Iran to start World War 3. Just saying, poor Iran. I feel bad for people who believe our propaganda. Iran is full of beautiful people, rich history, one of the oldest countries in the world and based around their roots. Every Iranian person I know is the most sincere and some of the most beautiful souls on the planet. Please don't be a Michelle Bachman. I would like to finish by adding that in the late 1840s when Neptune entered Pisces, Uranus was in Aries like that's happening now. We have to remember like when I was writing this, this is what I was preparing for, you know, the events that bring all of us to the events that are happening. And now we're at the fucking gate right here. We're, we're here. Like Monday was the gate.
back then I wrote, I love all and offer my service of astrology to the world to be born with this gift is something I cherish and I feel being the Paul Revere is important in today's world. Speaking your mind is crucial in a world full of propaganda, pop culture, and a political system that is corrupt. All we have is each other and the common go- ground of being human. To judge someone based off religion is wrong, and this country needs a big dose of reality check. It doesn't matter the race, religion, background, or political party you are. What does matter is that we are coming to a point of great change, and everyone must do their part. What will you do? I choose to speak and use my spiritual gifts of, of astrology and history to help change the world. Thank you, David Palmer, 2012. So I have two likes on it. And I did everything I could to, you know, predict predictions, inclusive astrology. Like, it makes me really wonder. Uh, attention, astrology community and 2012 seekers. And look at that. You know what's weird? That 2012 was Saturn and Neptune trine. Is at the strongest point very shortly. And now here's Saturn and Neptune in the same sign. I said, I feel the beginning of change starts with this alignment. No longer can dreams be dreams. They must be structured and come down to earth. More important is the time to decide what those dreams are. I feel this way because the signs of Libra and Aquarius bring balance, harmony, and the connection of people and society together, because that was when they were in trine and air signs. It is not a coincidence that we are more connected than ever as Neptune leaves Aquarius and moves into the home sign of Pisces. Facebook, the internet, and all the great connection to humanity came during this long 14-year transit, 98 through 2012, before the age of Aquarius comes reality. We must learn to connect to Pisces for the final time. One of the last ways of finishing the age of Pisces is to completely go back into the realm. So, it's funny because I do so much I, of lectures and all that stuff. Before I used to do all that kind of stuff, I used to write astrology and, and uh, I, I wrote. Maybe it was to be a time capsule. I was hoping that people would respond back then to it, but they didn't, you know. Like, they didn't, but nobody did. And, I mean, I'm even bringing up, like, the Eyes Wide Shut shit in 2015 with Saturn Scorpio stuff. And... You know... I I I think for I think for me I'm I I think when you reach a a certain place as an astrologer where you look out super far and that's why I do hypergate and teaching prophecy work it's 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 it's, it's I think it's very important work I think it's important work because it's never really been taught as far as like modern times and there's not really prophecy schools teaching it from the old ways to also like you know it's not like I'm just starting to do the prophecies like those are my prophecies from 2012 right so I you know I could kind of say like hey I'm a 2012 prophecy person and to see that Civil War trailer, to see where we're at, to see what's gone down. To me, though, those predictions are the ones that I've been sitting around and 
hoping that don't happen. I feel like David himself, Goldblum, right, um, doing this. Um, and and I, I'm here to be honest with you all that, that, that on this Leo King Live, that's where we're at. So... Um, I, you know, It's weird because it's like I not not only that I, did I write that, but every time I do astrology for the fourteen years coming up, as far as like where I'm that good to write that kind of shit, right? So there's there's astrology prior to fourteen years ago, but like you know, to me. Like, okay, I'm an astrologer. I'm going to put this out. I fucking know how to do the math and do the astrology and put together the transits and write it out and put predictions. You have to remember back then, it, you know, speaking that was a lot different. Um, but, uh, you know, like, that's been in the back of my soul the whole time. And so as we're all here on this week to face off with Neptune for the grandest like reveal on the other side of this over the next three weeks, I guess, you know, it's not hidden. It's always been there, but like that's been my conclusion of the astrology the whole time it hasn't changed i've lived the life for the last 14 years of knowing all that and praying that the, it doesn't happen you know like And I still believe that we we can't avoid that while at the same time I battle with the the truth of the same way that the code says we've reached the spot. And so my, my truth to you all is like, like I said in there, to not be afraid. For, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm more trying to wrap all that. I've already wrapped that around my soul for 14 years, let alone... Um, dealing with our everyday lives that we all have to put up with and just trying to make it through each day that I'm you know I'm not I'm not a, I'm not a machine I'm a human and It, it it feels like a, I mean this this is that I wrote that when Jupiter was in Taurus, so I I think that 
for me, I don't know, like the last 12 years of that. Felt very alone. And, uh, you know, like, I know people read it, but nobody responded to it. And then today, as I talk about it, I... I don't know if I feel misunderstood, but I think I feel like whatever I've got to work through is I feel like it's not maybe considered while I'm trying to do every other thing in my life that I'm grappling with that. I, I don't have many people who get me, never have. I think that's been the hardest part about this journey is just to, to get people here. I, I hope God wants me to go through the portal with everybody else. Or I wonder if God's just brought me to get people to, to the door, you know. So I wish I had something more enlightening to say, but I, I already let everybody know my horoscope for today, the stuff I'm going through. So it's hard, it's hard for me to make it, make it through this moment with all the stuff I have that is not aligning or you know being misunderstood or 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 kind of looking at me like a robot like just fucking just dish out the fucking sun signs just just dish this out just just do this just i don't i don't I don't know if it's a life that anybody else would really want to take on. It 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 feels very isolating. And I I there's no there's no way to make everybody happy. And for some reason, and maybe it's my own transits with Pluto squaring my Pluto and Pluto opposing my sun. I was already born with sun square Pluto. It's like the universe doesn't, like, or something, something, not the universe, something out there, some force, probably it's a dark force, is literally trying to take me down. So... And it's trying to surround every part of my life and take me down. Like, I, I don't know how better else I, I can put it. 